Hello everyone and warm welcome to this session. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you gray level slicing, which is a kind of image thresholding. And now whatever the grayscale image we will be processing for this particular task, we will be having a consideration to preserve its corresponding background. Now let us switch to the editor window to write a MATLAB program to accomplish this particular task. Now I start my MATLAB programming with the MATLAB syntaxes of close all clear and CLC so that we can have fresh execution of our program. Now mentioning a comment line for which this particular program is. So I write this is a program to demonstrate gray level slicing with preserving the background. Now for this particular task, we need one image to be read in MATLAB environment. So I just mention one more comment time to modularize the program script that is read the input image here. So from the current directory current folder, we will be accessing that image information. So here we will be generating capital A a variable and we will be making assignment of the image information to this variable with the MATLAB syntax I am read here. Now within a pair of parentheses and a pair of single quotes, I will be mentioning the image name along with its file type. So I just mention horse.jpg as one of my data set image which is present in the current directory. Now for this input image that is read here, we will check whether it is successfully read and the variable A is generated in the workspace or not. So for that purpose, I will like to save it. Let us save this particular program with the name program underscore seven dot M will be the file extension. So I get back to the default view of the MATLAB here. Here it is the program seven file. The name has appeared to the editor tab. And now the workspace is empty. Now, as I run this particular program, you see the workspace has now generation of a variable capital A with the dimensions 142 by 114 of the data type U int 8 here. So successfully it is reading the horse.jpg. Now we shall continue to script. So by the next line, for the purpose of gray level slicing, I will be requiring the two variables to hold the dimensions of the input image that we have read in the above statement. So let us see these variables are to be generated small m and small n. These will be assigned the dimension values of the input image with the MATLAB syntax size where the input argument is the image itself. Now the variable capital A it will be there. Now as we are working into the 8-bit environment, so we will be having total 256 shades here. So the maximum value if you start at 0 will be 255. So L will hold the maximum number of the grayscale level that we will be making used for formulating a threshold value so that we can have slicing at the gray level for the grayscale image at hand. So let us formulate it by rounding the ratio of capital L divided by the number 1.45 let us say we end this MATLAB syntax with the help of semicolon and now after reading the input and getting the things ready for gray level slicing I actually begin with performing the gray level slicing operation which is a kind of image thresholding basically so for that purpose I am going to make the use of nested for loop the first for loop I am going to start that will have the variable i with the range of values from 1 to the first dimension of the image that is read for processing purpose. Inside it I am going to have another for loop with the variable that is ranging with the values 1 to small n here. Now I am going to make the use of if statement where I will put the condition for gray level slicing. So as the input image read is stored into the variable capital A, now small i and small j are having the dimensions ranging from 1 to the maximum value. 
as we have done in the above steps here. So A of I comma J is the input image and when it is greater than or equal to the threshold value that we have formulated along with A of I comma J that means the same input image here if it is less than or equal to capital L so that time we will have the generation of the output image denoted as B of I comma J with the assigned value of the maximum intensity level or the gray level you can say capital L here. Now we will be writing the else part to this. For the else part B of I comma J will be assigned to the gray level value or the pixel intensity into the original image without any alteration. So this is actually going to preserve the background of the image which is not there in the criteria we have put in the if condition. Now here we are going to end the if else statement. We will end the for looping. Now whatever the condition here we have put in the if else statement you see a of i comma j greater than or equal to the threshold t and a of i comma j less than or equal to the maximum gray level value so that it should not be out of bounds here. The two times ampersand it is basically the and logical operation and it is having the short circuit behavior unless and until the first expression is true it is not going to evaluate the second expression so this is a better way of having MATLAB scripting while we use the two conditions here and this is quite convenient for the gray level slicing here. So gray level slicing we have formulated in this particular script. Now as we generate the output image B while we process the input image stored into the variable A we need to display the input and output images for the comparison purpose. So this is what the last module of this particular script display of input and output images. So for display purpose I am going to make the use of subplot command where I will be having one row two columns and the first cell here we are going to display with the I am show command where the input image is the input capital A argument provided here and the corresponding title here we provide that it is original image. Now by the next line I will go for accessing the next cell of this subplot that it is 1 comma 2 comma 2 here again the display will be with the help of I am show command and after having capital B the resultant image out of the nested for loop it will be of the double type here so for display purpose it will be converted to the data type uint8 and then we will provide the input argument to be capital B here and finally providing the concerned title to it within a pair of parentheses inside which we have a pair of single quotes to display the string here. So this is what the image after gray level slicing. So this is what our programming for a gray level slicing when we have consideration to preserve the background. So when we have consideration to preserve it, we have to assign the original image pixel intensities to the resultant image when the condition is in else part that it means it is not true. And when we don't want to have consideration to preserve the background, so this particular value should not be made to the original ones here. So this is what the change when we have gray level slicing without preserving background and with preserving the background here. So I just save the changes made to the complete script here getting back to the default view of MATLAB. Initially it was only one variable capital A and now after completion of the script as I run his here you see A is the original image read capital B is the output image generated I, J, M and N are holding the dimension values of the input images and of course the output image will also be of the same dimensions as it was for the capital A input image. 
you see here uint8 type for the image read in the matlab environment by having this im read command and whatever the b is generated it is having the double type that is why while having a display we have got it converted to back uint8 type and this is what the maximum intensity level 255 assigned to capital l threshold value we have set to 176 now it has popped up a display of matlab window with the original image horse.jpg and this is what the image after gray level slicing that is the output image here so i just close this instead of having only the horse.jpg if i change it to goldfish.tif it is it is present in the current directory here you see i have saved the changes and if i run this particular program now you check in the workspace the dimensions are different 592 by 768 of u and 8 type for the input image and for the output image the same dimensions with the type double here and this is what the display of input and output images here so on the left hand side you see the original image goldfish.tif and this is what the image that we have obtained after we process the original image by gray level slicing so this was a simple demonstration of gray level slicing. Thank you.